Hi everyone, recently the question on how to validate if a multi-choice control has a certain number of choices selected. So if I have a multi-choice control and I've got three options and I say something like um, please enter at least two options, how do we how do we make sure that they've selected two options? Now um, what you can do is First, you need to create a variable. So you come to variables and you go add variable and you'd say um, choice count or whatever you want to call it. Um, and we'll put an integer because it's a whole number basically. And use the count function. So you do count and then you want choice control. So your, your multi-choice control inside there. Now that's going to give you back an integer counting the number of items in the array. So if we come back to here and we put a label control on, and I only put the label on for testing purposes, but it helps explain the idea. So we've got our choice multiple, select one, select two, select three. So that's all good. It's actually counting the number of options that have been selected. One select, two, one, zero. Now that's the first part of it. You've got your variable that can actually validate uh, how many choices have been made, but how do you actually um, use that in a rule? Now you could use it in a form rule, but it probably doesn't make sense. It's more of a, submit rule you want to say um, you've given the description of saying please enter more than um, please select at least two options so it doesn't really make sense for it to um, fire on input because they still might be thinking about it getting feedback those sort of things so what you actually want is a form submit rule so we're going to say validate uh, choice control now if you select choice multiple you've only got does include, doesn't include, which isn't really going to help you. What you actually want is to click on the insert tab and go to form variables and that's where our integer count comes in or our count for the number of choices selected comes in. So choice count, now that's coming back as an integer so now we have a whole bunch of other options here because the variable is a number so it now knows um, what data type it is and it knows that it's an integer so it knows well I can do equals, greater than, less than, those sort of things. So if we say less than or equal to, we actually want less than two, or you know, you could do whatever. There's a bunch of different options that you could do. Then you say choice multiple, show validation error, and you'd say something like please enter um, more than one option. Create rule. Okay, so now we're good to go. We've got a preview. So select one option and I'm filling it out hello world and have no attachments and you press submit please enter one more than one option so selecting two the validation message goes away press submit and it's all good so if we were to publish this it actually fix it up three options submit and it's all good so let's actually go ahead and publish um, this form now this I'm showing this in 365 but this will actually apply to either Nintex new responsive forms in Office 365 or in Nintex Workflow Cloud Forms. So it really doesn't matter. So um, don't be thrown off by the fact that I'm using uh, Office 365. So going ahead and creating a new option and I say, hello world. So we're actually really testing this in a, in a real scenario. So um, option one, submit, please enter one, more than one option two. And now it's actually allowing me to submit. So I hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see anything else. And um, yeah, that's it.